Hi there, I'm here with uh, Brendan Taylor, who's the co-organizer of Belmont Logger Sports. Brendan, welcome. Hi Gordon, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks. So we're going to take a look at uh, this year's Logger Sports. was uh, a good turnout, lots of competitors this year. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So uh, the events uh, we have going this year were? Uh, we had the chainsaw bucking competition. Right. We had the chainsaw obstacle buck, mm -hmm. the obstacle choker race. Right. We had the pole climb. Pole climb, right? Axe throw, axe chop, Iron Man, Iron Woman, Jack and Jill cross cut, and the most dreaded log roll at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a lot of fun to watch, actually. Absolutely. Cool. So how long has this been uh, going on here in Valmont, do you know? Um, I'm actually unable to answer that question, okay. but for many years. It's been going on for a long yeah, time. Yeah, it has. And so uh, you basically with uh, Dan Cutterback have been uh, now working on this and trying to keep organizing every year and trying to build it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I helped. I kind of took over um, roughly the same time I started my tree service. Okay. And uh, I was sort of hiding in the crowd one day watching and uh, Dan Cutterback yelled, uh, hey, where's that young guy who claims to be a tree climber around here? <laughs> We got to get him out here, and I was sort of hiding, and oh, oh cool. And so I went and went in the event, and I won it, and I thought, well, oh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess. Eh? So I kind of continued on from there, and then I got more and more involved every year. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's a lot of fun. Let's take a look at some of the events, and then we can come <laughs> back and chat a little bit more. I think uh, first is bucking the under 85 cc's. And so this year we have an interesting uh, new competitor here. This is the oh, mayor. We have our mayor. <laughs> yeah. Andrew McCracken. Yeah. And uh, here he's going up against uh, young Trent Cutterback. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. Okay. Yeah. And this is our, probably Valmount's first mayor to compete in... Uh, is that right? Any okay. sort of water sports that I know of, but correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, he's definitely a gamer. I, yeah, he's that. a great, great competitor. Okay, so his first first time in the chainsaw bucking, and he, uh, yep. he takes out young uh, Trent Cutter back there. Right? Yeah, that's got to be a, a little annoying for Trent. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here's uh, Dan Cutterback and uh, young Lyndon Latissure. Mm -hmm. And both Trent and Lyndon just graduated this year. And yeah. So they're both uh, they're both doing some logging work. Uh, yeah. So Dan's a veteran, obviously. Dan and is a seasoned veteran. Doing this a long time. You can yeah. see he's really efficient with his uh, cutting. There was a conspiracy that the A log was significantly smaller in diameter oh, than, than right? the B log. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my excuse for. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> for the way I placed. Yeah, they seem to be good zipping through that A log. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's also a very experienced uh, chainsaw operator. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's Evan Scheller and uh, you. And myself. Yeah, and there you are. Right. And you're on the B side. I'm on the B side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, both times. And what's the story with Evan? Experienced guy? Evan, yeah, he would be sort of experienced. He's not a logger. He's okay. uh, he's in the was in the aircraft engineering side of things for a long time. But and I think that's one of the fun things that I found about this because there are some people in this who just like there's a couple of people who came out of the crowd to do it, and yeah. there's other people who are doing it for the first time. So you know, it's not like a a dead serious logging competition where you have to be a hardcore logger to compete. Yeah, right? that kind of makes it fun for people. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so here is uh, the start of the McCurdy boys. Uh, John McCurdy, John McCurdy yeah. starting out. Ready, set, So go. yeah, he's by himself in this. So he's yeah. uh, one lone competitor. Yeah. Seems to have a really good technique for this. He's zipping through that log. I think he did pretty well on this one. He might have even, he might have won this. I can't remember. Yeah, really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, John's from the legendary McCurdy family, as you can see in the, in the name there. Right, right. Yeah. Born with chainsaws in their hand, yeah, right? Probably, <laughs> yeah. <much>. yeah. <laughs> really good time, zipped right through that with the butter. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very good, very good time. Yeah, that was you got her. So now we're moving into the over 85. Yeah. Okay, so just a little huh. bit bigger. Uh, yeah, bigger these, unit. these saws are okay. they're a bit bigger, a bit louder, a bit heavier. and. 
Okay, and it's you and Dan. Faster. And see, again, you're on the B-log. And again, I'm on the B-log, yeah. <laughs> Is that just the way it goes? It's a drive, I think Dan drive. rigged that this year for me, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and here's Evan and uh, and and the mayor. Go. Now he's flipped over to the B log. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you guys are pretty brave giving the mayor a chainsaw. I know, yeah. especially a chainsaw of that caliber. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> yeah. Okay, and Evan seems to be just zipping through this log. Yeah, that's all he was running with. Now this is actually my personal. One of my saws here, the, oh, is right? the mayor's running, yeah. And uh, the other one there is uh, either Mark Muick from Alpine Country Rental or Dan Cutterbacks. All right, so here's the two young guys, Lyndon and Trent. Yep. Yeah, two high school graduates here. Going yep. at her. Oh. You can see Dan marking the, uh, yep. the distance there on the logs, or the thickness on the log. Yeah, kind of marking the region as to where he should. Yep. What's the strategy for this? What's the, what's the best strategy? You got a strategy for working through these? Um, well, you definitely, well, you want to make sure your, your chainsaw is going to fire right up as soon as you grab it and right. pull that cord. And you pick it up and you grab the throttle and just get her going get her in the air and get her on the log. Okay, and, start and, it up and, and full really speed. smooth and consistent is is definitely the the, the biggest trick. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Everybody seems to be struggling on this side, no doubt. Yeah, that's the butt piece, and the butt pieces of wood are always the, the wood is, tends to be very kind of dense and and uh, kind of rigid. Oh, okay. So it's a definitely, a, in my opinion, it's a harder cut. Right. Okay, it's John McCurdy, John McCurdy again. All by again. So pretty much everybody, I no. think, went through both both the under 85 and the over. Right? I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is kind of the warm up, the warm up events to right, right. Notify everybody in the in the surrounding area that uh, it's on. It's on, and yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. And the crowd really does grow as the day goes on. Eh? Yeah, I noticed. You that. know, there's maybe um, maybe a dozen and a half people, and then by the time it's uh, lunchtime, there's significantly more yeah right here logger man awesome. okay and so here's the mayor uh, being congratulated i think he finished in the money actually which is pretty strange yeah, he might have yeah. finished fifth or something i think yeah. we got the uh, i think we got the winner's board coming up here yeah here we go okay so in the oh, under he even beat me so in the under 85 yeah he came in fourth that's, yeah, yeah yeah okay that's that's really bad how are you gonna live that down no, i i don't <laughs> I, I i give him credit for doing so <laughs> okay Okay, so coming up next here, I think we have the uh, obstacle bucking. It is the obstacle right. bucking, yeah. Yep. Okay, so Dan's kind of going through the, um, we're not going to hear him very well because of uh, where he was, but Dan's kind of going yeah. through what it is, how to uh, how to do this uh, competition. Yeah. So the technique is you go through the, the tires first. Yeah, you go through the tires, you run down to the end. Chainsaw's off at this point. Chainsaw's off at this point. Yeah. And there's a red line at the end that you have to go past before you enter the log. Okay. Which Dan is you explaining see right it now. There. Yeah, there's yep. the red line right there. Okay. And then the way you go down the log, as you can see, it's a very stable and not so wiggly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dan always there. really likes to find the skinniest little wiggliest <laughs> logs he can possibly find. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you okay. cross that line. Then you start your saw. Start the chainsaw. Yeah. And then Dan will give you a, a, a mark on the tip of the log. Right where you have to make your cut. Okay. You go to the tip, cut your cookie, shut your saw off, you shut your saw off turn around, and walk back down the log again, and proceed 
back through the tires. Back through the tires. Now, if you fall line. off, like if you've cut your cookie first yep. and you fall off, yep. you just have to go back to the end of the log and That's then correct. come back up again. But if you haven't cut your cookie, you've got to go all the way back. You've got to do it all over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll see that quite a bit here. <laughs> it's <laughs> a lot of, pretty tough. Yeah. yeah. In previous years, we've, uh, you know, we keep encouraging the content contestant to finish. Right. But this year we sort of said, well, maybe give them three tries and yeah. and then yeah. and then uh, maybe we'll move on from there, right? Yeah, otherwise yeah. you're there all day, right? You're there all day and you get pretty tired as well. Okay, so it's a head-to-head -head race, which yeah. is uh, really interesting. Right okay, so this is uh, Ross McCurdy yeah. and Nils Hartman. So Nils is a bit of a character. We'll see He's him a bit of a character. In this. Yeah. Yeah, he was I think the day before he was picked up far end of the line, go for, yeah. Maybe off the Greyhound station or or hitchhiking or oh, something. Right? He was from uh, the Netherlands or Germany, one of the uh, oh, European so he's just countries. Visiting. He's, he's yeah, he was visiting and, okay. and Ross ran into him and and they decided, oh, well, we'll come hang out together. And yeah. next thing you know, he's running down a log with a power saw. So yeah, really. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Ross got a good technique going. He's up there, he's got mm -hmm. his chainsaw started. Yep. And there he goes with the cut. And I thought when I uh, shot this, that one of the trickiest things was right here, the turnaround. Once you cut it, turning around and getting going again. Once yeah, you get going, sure. it seemed to be okay. It's just that, that transition point there. Yeah, you really have to take your time. So he's you... done it, no, no problem, no yeah. faults, no nothing. And he's back through the tires. Okay, and here's Nils. Now this, he's, he's a gamer, no doubt. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but I love this, uh, this movement here. Oh! Nope. <laughs> yeah, you gotta... <laughs> The, the expression in his voice here is asking questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did they touch the ground? Yeah, okay. So now he puts down the dances. Oh, yeah, okay, you can put down the chainsaw, but what are you going to do when you get down there? <laughs> you going to chew it off now? <laughs> can I shine over my head? No. You can't start it over your head. If you can start it over your head. But this is the beauty of the Valmont Logger Sports is, is the entertainment yeah. Uh, value that you that you, you that you get to give to the crowd, eh? And yeah, people really love this. They had a good time. Yeah, and absolutely. You'd hear them shouting encouragement and laughing along. And yeah, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of interesting moments in this. So there's Dan there re fixing up his safety. Equipment yeah. There. Yep. <laughs> wow, you got to. Uh, so he had no logging experience at all, like that. Not that I know of. No. You know of? Wow. No, that That's, was the first uh, time I'd ever seen the fellow and. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty brave. Mm -hmm. Get out there and uh, wobble on this thing, and you can see how much it's moving, right? It's not just moving a little no, bit. No, it's, it's very, really, very wiggly. It's wiggly. Yeah, and then once you get that chainsaw going, pretty dangerous situation. It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some very peculiar situations with with that event throughout the years. Well, good for him for trying. Okay, so we got Absolutely. John Car uh, John Crowley and Vince Clark here. Yeah, Vince Clark is the owner. Uh, Owner operator of our local chainsaw shop, okay. Alpine Country Rentals. There you go. So we're expecting some pretty high performance out of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, John Crowley is a local uh, entrepreneur, tree planter, landscaper. Log. Good technique there from Vince mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, nice and slow. And John just gives her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Looks like he's had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah, almost yeah, got touch heads there. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, it, it seemed to me that uh, as it went on, the best technique is just go really slowly up the log. Yeah, make it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's no. It doesn't matter how fast you get up there if you can't stay on, right? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's either that or it's just give her as hard as you can and hope <laughs> yeah. for the best. Thing. Hope for the best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotta All right. Up here first. Kind of stabilizing himself. Got the chainsaw. There he goes. And, oh, and John's off John's again. John's off again. Yep. And here comes the upstroke. Interesting technique. One foot on one side of the log, the other foot on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Kind of stabilize. Yeah, he and then here's the turnaround. This is the tricky close. part. Oh, oh he loses yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's twice. Or is that three times? No, that's twice. I think Dan makes him go one more time just for the Yeah, for the end of Dan value. being Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. John's done. All right, here he goes. And now he's already cut the cookie, so yeah, he just has to go past the, cookie, the line. So yeah. He's got to go past the line go back? and uh, turn around and twist it back again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. But by this Easier time, you're, done. <laughs> your, your heart's racing. Yeah, and it's, yeah. You're, uh, yeah, no doubt. And you're getting yeah. tired going back and forth, up and down the log. Yeah. Is he going to go again, or is that it? Yeah, one more time. All right. 
Yeah, so from this perspective, I think you can kind of really get a good sense of where the log, how much the log is moving once yeah, you get up to the sure. end of it. Yeah. In our next event here as well, in the choker race. The choker, you're, yeah. So you're going to see a lot of that as well, right? Yeah, it's not easy. No, it's I not. I try this later with the camera oh, just to, uh, oh, did you? to try to do oh, it. Right it's tough. Yeah, yeah, it's really tough. Yeah. Okay, so here you go against Dan. Mm -hmm. Ready. Yeah, we, me and Dan ended up head-to-head -head in the f several events, which is, which is a little bit hi ironic. I but it's just luck of the draw, right? You guys yeah. put in and it's a, it's a draw. Yeah, we just have numbers in a hat and hey however many competitors you uh, draw your number. And okay, pretty good technique there, making your way up. Both looking pretty good. So I guess I've got a little bit of an advantage over some competitors. I, you know, I do a lot of fair amount of tree climbing and right, right. monkeying around in the bush, so kind of expected that I am yeah, yeah. maybe kind of sharp on my own skills, but all the balance none is the least, trick, it's, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the trick and taking your time out on that log and yeah. and uh, yeah, you seem to go up there fairly slowly and down fairly <laughs> slow, right? Yeah, yeah. And Dan was getting pretty frustrated here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. I've seen him really fast on that in previous years. He just yeah. out and cut and back again. It's like holy man, that was just, <laughs> you made that look pretty easy. Well, it's tricky. Now how much do those chainsaws weigh? I think they're roughly 25 to 25 pounds somewhere in there. 25 pounds. Push 25 pounds. Maybe yeah, maybe log. maybe pushing 30 once they had got the bar and chain and the gas and then they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there he goes. But I uh, just got to get it steady. Oh. So he's got it going. Oh. The cut. He uses his chain here to his bar to brace him. He does a pretty good job of it for a bit. There he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh. 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 <laughs> other side. Next side. side. <laughs> no, no. Come on. Probably the first time Dan's ever given up on anything in his life. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah I'll bet he was saying, "Yeah, I wish I had more than three chances now." Yeah. Right. Okay, and here's John McCurdy yeah. and Lyndon. Huh. Yeah. I don't remember what the outcome of this one was. We will see. We will. Pass the line. Okay, pretty good technique. It looked like, and I think you did this too, you held your chainsaw pretty low and kind of used it as a bit of a balance yeah. uh, thing. Yeah, eh? you definitely don't want it out. Because I, I find, I see the guys that hold it up higher have a little more, more trouble with the balance. Oh, okay. It's really tricky too when the guy beside you falls off. It makes you want to fall off. Oh, is that right? Yeah, you, yeah, you see him go over, and then it's this uh, yeah. a funny peripheral thing, right? I guess. Okay, Lyndon's got the turnaround. Good. Lyndon is a nice. pretty, pretty agile uh, individual. There, he's hey, he's 18 years old. What are you gonna do, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good job. Okay, and there he goes. Yeah, he's pretty fast. Good job. Okay. John makes it through. Good. Well, there we are. No penalties. So, you know, it's it's pretty rare when you can get through it without falling off. Absolutely. Right? At some point. Yeah, if you can make it onto the tip of the log and back again without falling, you're in good shape. In good, in good shape for the place uh, in the top five. There you go. Okay, so here's the results. You come out on top. I was number one for that one, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Lyndon. Ross McCurdy, third. Board. And nobody finished fifth. Because and they, they didn't make it. Like, no. <laughs> okay, very cool. We keep that money for next year. There you go. Yeah. All right, so up next is. The choker. The choker race. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is an interesting thing. So why don't you talk while we're watching the beginning of this, what's the purpose yeah. of a choker in actual logging? Yeah. What do you mean? The choker, um, it, it trails behind the machinery that is going to be bringing the, the logs onto the landing to get processed. Okay. So it's a, uh, anywhere from, um, they're generally, I think, 10 to 12 feet long. Right. And they've got a, a knob on, on one end and then they've got a, an adjustable, it's called the bell, which the knob fits into. So, uh, long story short, I guess, it is used to hook the log and it's attached to the winch line on the back of the machine. And you hook the log on, the machine will, will take the wood, the logs into the, okay. into the landing. All right. So Ross got right through that really quick. Ross did very well there, yeah. Just gotta cross both, both feet up across the line. Yeah, okay, you go. A well, decent sized crowd. You can see the crowd's kind of building. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit bigger. That's good. Good 
the president now. All right. So we got John McCurdy and Trent Cutabout. Yeah. John, just an animal. <laughs> <laughs> he's going for it. Mm -hmm. So he's trying the fast technique, and I think he's going to find it. Yeah. Uh, well, you'll see it in here in a second. He goes for Speed's it. Speed's not everything. Puts on a bit of a performance <laughs> here, and this is what we come out for, right? Eh? <laughs> so now you can see the bell. Right. Getting hooked into the yeah, uh, yeah. hooked right the knob. Oh, he's hungry. trying to hook it into it. Yeah. Oh, and Trent's down. And Trent's going back for more. Ah. Which I think, you know, it's not probably not a bad technique. You see a lot of guys, yeah, you know, good. do this and they try to struggle through it and get through, whereas it probably would be faster to stop and go back again and, and start For sure. again, right? Yeah. And here's the other thing that people don't know. You can't touch this log on the other you end. You cannot you touch, touch that log, log on the other end, disqualified. no. And you can't touch the ground. Well, you, you've got to go back to get yeah, so That's right. Go back so it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that log is strictly there for bracing purposes. Right. Yeah. I can still run back. Or? Yeah, you, yeah, you okay, can run up. Strand again. A lot slower this time. Yeah, he's probably a little tired. And <laughs> okay, you good? Oh, oh. We maybe uh, took that in an undesired crunch, location. Crunch plant there. That's <laughs> maybe not the best way. Yeah. So here's Don McCurdy. He okay. set his choker, so now okay. he just had to do his go okay. across the line and head back okay. again. And good. Through the tires. So I guess that was it for Trent. He probably went through three times. Yeah, I so. believe so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, John Crowley. So and we're going to see a bit of a performance from John Crowley. <laughs> okay. we, we did. His, uh, his wily style paid right. off for him here. He just Whoa. he just gets on there and just gives her. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah, John's a pretty agile fellow. You guys are both good. You're just a little bit more limited. See, he, he was able just to tuck it under. Right, right. And, and just he, he grab didn't, it. Yeah. No, he didn't did. do the toss. Yeah. He set his choker and away he goes. And look at this. <laughs> oh, there wow. he goes, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> just made it. Yeah, you're good, yeah. man. And I believe I'm... Oh. Oh, and there goes. I believe he made himself uh, the first place on that. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, an interesting technique, too. He, he crouched down to do it, whereas a lot of people kind of lean over to do it. Mm -hmm. He got right That's down awesome. really low to yeah. the log and... And kind of did that. So you can see how much this yep. log is moving here for Lyndon, right? It's just really bouncing around. Yeah, there you go. And then through. Good crowd. Crowd's cheering him on. Absolutely. Always encouraging. Doesn't matter if you make it or don't. No. Right? That's no, fun part of certification of completion. Yeah, exactly. that way, yeah. <laughs> okay, and here's uh, Nails again against Dan. Yep, here we are. Dan's got his safety vest on. Thank you. Doesn't take that off too often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing to me that somebody can just come out and never having done this before, just oh, jump yeah. in. I think he's in pretty much every event too, isn't he? Pretty did the, much, the I, pole think, climbing I think. Yeah, he did the pole climb. I think he did the log burrow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, see there's so Dan. He's Dan really giving it. Giving it, yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. He's got it. Oh, that's so that's that's pretty tricky. And Nils is down in the. <laughs> okay, and so he's got an interesting uh, technique. He's going to get this on, and then he does uh, kind of the slide backwards down the log. <laughs> yeah, not the uh, mm. not the favorite technique, I don't think. Especially when he found out you couldn't really uh, stand on the middle log. Right. Okay, try two from Dan here. So he's got the traditional kind of whip and do yep. it. Yeah, see he did it in one, yep. there you go. In one throw there. Oh, so he's got his oh set, no. but he's having a hard time staying on that log. Yeah. Okay. And here goes Nils. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh no. Yeah, Dan's having a lot of trouble with the balance there. there. Too much coffee in the morning, I guess. Yeah. I can't touch it? No, you can't. Okay, and then here's where I think somebody says, no, you can't touch the center log. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty amazing to see him get from that position up to his knees and on. I guess he nope. wouldn't be able to do that near the end of the log, right? No. You gotta be near no, the I don't think so. In the middle. No, but that was awesome. He finished her up there and. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Good hand, good hand. We need two more contestants. We need you. Two more contestants. It's very easy. Ready. And so I noticed with all the ladies, barefoot technique. Yeah, that's that's part of a rule we made. Is that right? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they made it themselves, but okay. 
Yeah, that's, I think that, one year one of them was in there in a little pair of beach flip flops. And, oh right. Yeah. Some high heels and. Oh. Cross the line with both feet. Both feet? Yeah, all the way across with both feet. And then you can set your choker. If you want to get a little bit longer, you can give yourself so you can swing it. So, under. yeah, I'm not sure if that's an advantage or not. Maybe it helps you to uh, to grip around the. Yeah, uh, the just like a cat, bit. eh? Yeah, yeah. Cat claws. Maybe over. so? Yeah. Whoa. But Amelia, she's a great competitor. She. Uh, Good technique there. Good job. I don't know if she makes it. I think she might. Oh, and there's the mare. He's off. <laughs> and she took her time and uh, there you go. That's and the way to go. off. Perfect. And there's the mare. He's going for round two, I guess. Round two, yeah. yeah. The whole barefoot thing is just it's <laughs> amazing to me. But hey, it worked for them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you can see Andrew's got this. He, he knows you have to do it slow now. Yeah. <laughs> so he's really taking his time to get down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. One more time. Go for one more? Uh, no, nope, they no, give him the DNF. Okay. I'll bring it back here. Okay. So Miwa against Jasmine. Mm hmm. Two ladies head to head. Head to head. Barefoot. Barefoot. <laughs> Competitive. Yep. <laughs> For the record, Jasmine, Jasmine is my lovely common law okay. life partner. All right, yeah, very deliberate, kind of slow. And I see she's got the technique where she's kind of holding both sides. I, I saw that for a couple of people where you, if you let the other end of the choker down, it kind of pulls you this way. Yeah. It's kind of good to hold the whole thing right up there. Absolutely, right? yeah. The biggest thing is that you don't let the bell slide down to the ground because that can be a little bit uh, a little bit awkward to oh, try to it, yeah, try to get the bell back, back out again. Up, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Jasmine's got lots of slack in her line there. She's okay, now, trying to get a Did you teach forward. her this? Are you giving her some coaching? Or? She doesn't take any lessons. <laughs> no, she's, she takes she's, no lessons or guff from you, right? No, that's right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, Miwa's got it. Slow and steady, very deliberate. Balance, come on, stay up. Oh, oh there she goes. She's down. Okay, but she's got that hooked up, so that's no problem. Yeah, she's working on it here. She's getting pretty close. Slow and steady. Yeah. There she is. All right. So you just have to get it over. You don't have to tighten it well, fully up. Well, right? you technically should. You're technically, to. you should. Yeah, set the choker. Which it'll. Well, look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> <laughs> And and watch this. He doesn't, he doesn't do a wrong, hurdle here because Dan's side. center on the wrong <laughs> side. Go through the tires. Yeah. Yeah, Miwad had a pretty good recovery there considering. Yep. Uh, oh, Jasmine they <laughs> just met yeah, the best at the very end. Yeah. Good job. Doesn't matter how you finish, you just have to no. finish. Doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, so there we go. So for the men, John Crowley comes out on top, and Ross McCurdy. Linden, fourth. Linden, Linden Lattister third, Brendan Taylor fourth, mm -hmm. and John McCurdy fifth. All right, and for the ladies, Amelia, Jasmine, and Miwa. Okay. Yeah, a lot of fun. That event uh, seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. That kind of loosens everybody up, eh? There's a lot of, ooh, this one, I don't like this one. Yeah, it's, yeah. The logs are wiggly. Well, it's, it's just fun, and it's not really that dangerous. You don't have a chainsaw in your hand. No, right? exactly. You can hit yeah. yourself with the, with the, the wire, I guess. The, you the could, cable, yeah. Some of those cables can be very frayed, yeah. and can be quite painful yeah, if you I'll get the... Okay, not They're good. called uh, uh, choker jaggers. Okay, so now we're getting into pole climbing. Pole so this climbing. is a tricky event. First up climb. here though, again, is our... First mayor to do a pole climb. Yeah, I'm telling you. McCracken. Well, good for him, that's, that's a gamer. How high Absolutely. are these poles? How, uh, how are these poles? We set the bell at about, I think it's 40 feet. Yeah, maybe 35, 40 feet, somewhere in there. So we make it pretty, uh, kind of uh, competitor friendly because there's not a whole lot of experience in this event. Right, so. right. So somebody playing the accordion in the crowd, I'm not sure what that was about. <laughs> yeah, that's Andrew's uh, lovely lady, I think, there. He's uh, okay. giving him a little, okay. cool. a little encouragement. So here he is. All right, so the time starts when your last foot leaves the ground, That's right? correct, yeah. And then up you go. So, I mean, this is a typical uh, logger thing, but you see it with, uh, you know, uh, 
Yeah. Power guys, like yeah. linemen on the power poles and stuff. Yeah. Right? So what's the trick to this? I mean, this is something you're really good at. What's what's the technique here you need to do? Um. Well, the, move that bell up? I guess it's, it, it's really just experience getting comfortable on the pole and and learning how your how the spikes are going to go into the wood right. without coming out. So yeah, we don't really have a good close-up shot no. of it, but it's two little it's two little V-shaped spikes. Right? Yeah, yeah, they're called a gaff. And they're inside of your legs. Right? Yeah, they're on the inside. So you got to really have to put your feet sort of duck. Right. And uh, when you're once you start advancing up the pole, um, you do want to step until your belt is actually sort of below your waistline, and then you can lean in and bring it up so it's kind of goes up to your chest line. Okay. And then you can take Climb a, few, up to that, take a yeah. few more steps up the pole again. Okay. But small small steps are definitely better than, than trying to go too big. And here it's over when you hit the bell the yeah, first time. Yeah, here it's right? over when the con contestant hits the bell. Okay, and here's young Trent. Up he goes. So it's pretty tricky for, for guys who haven't done this before. Like I don't think Trent has ever done this or, or Andrew as well. Right. So the feeling of your... Well, you'll see it, you know, I think even with Trent here, you'll see it gets kind of into a rhythm after a while. You kind of, it's like foot, foot, belt, Absolutely. foot, foot, belt, yeah. right? And yeah. once you've done it as, as often as you have, you can like... Doo -doo -boom, doo -doo -boom, yeah, right? for sure. And, get and, and poles are a lot different than trees. Poles are very consistent in size. Right. Where a tree is, has branches and, and um, you know, bigger chunks of bark or little cat faces. Right, and so you gotta go around. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this looks super dangerous, but we should probably tell people that they are uh, roped in. Yeah, right? they're roped in on a rappel system, so right. they're, it's a fairly safe event for the, for the competitor. Right. Here you go, John. Nice Here's John McCurdy. He, this is his second time doing this event, I guess. And uh, he did fairly well. Six. Yep, kind of a slow and deliberate kind of rhythm there going to it. I, I see later on some of the guys are trying for speed and you just it looks like you can't dig your spikes in that fast yeah, right, if you're trying to move. Yeah, it's tricky. Move your feet, feet up that fast. If you, if you ever do get a chance to watch the professionals in this event, it's really something else, eh? They, Is that right? Yeah, 80 foot pole, Wow. one strap, <laughs> and they just just run. Is that like right? A, they, they go up the pole faster than you can run down the sidewalk, <laughs> eh? Wow. And then of course, as you get up the pole, it's going to get smaller and smaller in diameter, and so your lanyard is going to get longer and longer. So as you get up there, you get further and further away, and then right. it's like, oh, you and then it oh, puts okay. a different element of sort of positioning into the yeah, whole thing. Yeah. Just when you start to get used to it, then absolutely. It right. yeah. And the pole starts wiggling as you get up there, it starts shaking <laughs> around quite a bit. Yeah, I can't imagine what 80 feet would be like. The wind would definitely have a oh for sure have a lot to do with it at that point. And then they do the rapid descending, which is something else too, eh? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just zip down. Yeah. Okay, there's Ross McCurdy. So he's doing really well. Yeah, good speed going there. Looks like a professional here at this camera angle. I like that. Bang. Yeah, and so here I think with Devin, you get a chance to see a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what it looks like in terms of the leg, um, yeah. what would you call it? The gaffs. Gaffs? Yeah. Rob, man, thanks for going. Yeah, and those particular, uh, the, it, the, the whole contraption is called the spur, and then the, the, the gaff is the spike that's on the spur. So trees have different, bigger spikes to get through bark and, uh, and, uh, the, and the cambium and oh, the sapwood. Okay. Right, right. Where for poles, you have a shorter gaff, which is more, a little more stubby. Right. Well, with the tree, you're not really going for speed though, right? <laughs> not so much. Yeah. No. no it's more about safety? Yeah. So Evans... Is this his first time on this too? I think this is his first time, yeah. I think he might have, he maybe has done it a little bit before. Mm -hmm. But uh, he did a good job there. Yeah, you really get a good look at it from here. It, it, it doesn't seem like it's that high, but... No, uh, it doesn't. Once no. you get up there, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's yeah, pretty yeah. scary. Well, that thing wiggles a lot, eh? It's yeah. pretty shaky. And when you're working with this strap, what you call it, the lanyard? The lanyard, yeah. So it's really important that you get the right, the right amount, right? Absolutely, yeah. Because if it's too tight, it'll be, you won't be able to get fairly high up the pole. Or yeah. If it's too tight to your body, if it's too loose, it'll be hard to get the lanyard. Yeah, if, you, you if you're too far at the bottom, by the time you get to the top, you might be to the point where you can't even, you're just way too far over yeah, the pole. Yeah, too far out. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can see they lay down. Yeah. yeah. 
Good stuff. The crowd's getting even bigger. Yeah, it's a popular event, and people like to watch this. I think it's for sure. Yeah, I think people would like to try it, but it's it's a little scary. Yeah, for and then, sure. And then the, here's this guy, Nils. Yeah, here's Nils. Uh, Canadian I, I vacation. Do yeah. <laughs> What'd you do on vacation? I entered a logger sports competition. <laughs> yeah, good for him. But you know, it was, maybe it was the highlight of his whole holiday. That could be. Who knows, eh? Well, he's a fast learner. You know, he started out slow on this, and you can see he's kind of in a little trouble here, and then yeah, he finds sure. his rhythm and gets going pretty good. The, the funniest feeling is when you're. When the lanyard gets below your waist, it's like, ooh, this oh, is, that's right, this isn't very comfortable. Yeah, but. yeah. So when you're working in the field and you don't have, you're not tied off on a rope like that, you're just doing it, right? You don't have the, well, yeah. I, guess, I guess you could if you had somebody working with you, but if yeah. you're by yourself. There's different systems you can incorporate um, where you're, you're, you're in a choking system. So you have another rope that is directly around the tree, like for my, my, the type of work I do. So you're on like a self belay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. But the lineman, here's Lyndon, he's, he does quite well. He has a bit of a But you see, yeah, he's, he's doing there. You see he's trying to take really long steps, yeah. right? And I think that's pretty hard. And I can, that can adjust when this one foot goes up. Well, this one's out of the, so this one's supporting you, but then your, the angle of your spur right. is gonna start to change. So you'll slip. So right? you can slip out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you can see that. And he changed his technique there. and. Pretty well. The biggest thing you is see the, how much the, that log is moving up there. Yeah, too. <laughs> the the boots that these guys are wearing are not designed for what they're doing. Nothing puts a lot of pressure. The stirrup of the spur puts a lot of pressure on the on your on the heel of your foot. Oh, okay. So you're supposed to have like a really rigid, really rigid uh, sole boot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or even like a steel shank in the boot. Eh? Right. Right. Makes sense. So here's John Crowley, half spider. <laughs> Half centipede. <laughs> Does a really good yeah, job. Yeah, you can see he kind of really bends down yeah. deep into it, right? Yeah. Kind of throws the uh, lanyard way up there. But John's done a fair amount of rock climbing over the years and ice climbing, so he's, uh, you know, it's just another. Yeah, yeah. A pretty good time. Oh, there goes his hat. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some trouble with that. So there he is. Bang. Cool. I think we might have to put that bell up a little bit higher for next year. <laughs> I think you should be coming up here pretty soon. I think I'm maybe the next competitor. Yep, okay. So, look at this. You're basically running up this thing. But yeah, I had a bit of a spin yeah, out there. Yeah. Yeah, which is... So I would imagine as you're, you know, if you had a lot of competitors doing this, you're probably, you're starting to shim, you know, like... Yeah, you really, you really rip the, the wood out of, yeah, the, out of the tree, eh? Yeah, yeah for sure. And not only are you the last competitor in this, but you got to take the bell down. Yeah, I have to take all the rigging down, or else I have to go back up there and do okay, it again. Okay, so there you go. Well, I mean, you know, you would hope you would win this I event. I was kind of right? hoping I'd win. One year, I taught my friend how to do it, and then he beat me. So. Oh, that's pretty frustrating. <laughs> well, that was okay, and then the McCurdy's are in there Ross again. Ross McCurdy, John Crowley, third place. Yep. And then the young guys, fourth and fifth. Yeah, Lyndon Monaster and Trent Cutterback. So I think these guys uh, should be watched for the future, eh? They're yeah. Be, uh, they're doing, and they're both working in logging, so yeah, you know, for sure. Experience. Cool. All right, so up next here. Let me go to the axe throw. The axe throw, axe throw. it is, yep. yep. Okay, so the axe throw. So there's two different techniques here, right? You can see the single-handed or the yep. double-handed. That's, yep. that's kind of the thing. How yep. far away are you from the uh, target? Uh, I think we're roughly 20 feet, 20 feet, I believe. It's enough for one full solid rotation of the axe, right. I believe. Okay, and you, can you give us kind of a rundown of the rings there? What's um, the I'm actually not totally and entirely certain, but the bullseye is... I think it's five. The five. If you hit the paper, you get, I believe, another five. Oh, wow. The brown, or the black is... Four. Four, and, and the white is three. Three, and then go up from there. Yeah. This is a nice event because everybody can just sort of sit down and relax. Right, and right, yeah. You're, you're, you're not running or jumping or leaping or climbing. Yeah, so it's... Uh, and it's not as easy as it looks. No, it's not. You know, you, you no. gotta, you gotta, especially if you haven't practiced much with it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not only, you know, getting the weight down and the distance, but also getting it to stick, right? For sure. 
There's Which, a few, few people here hit tires and throw yeah. it over. <laughs> yeah, over top of over it top. and underneath it. And yeah. yeah. I know this is my first time shooting this, and uh, they kind of warned me from where I was. You, you don't want to stand there. <laughs> no, you are. I think <laughs> I, I do recall that. I was quite a ways away from the target, so <laughs> yeah. I had to move. Yeah, that axe is pretty darn sharp, yeah, hey? Yeah, no doubt. Got a couple of good penetrating edges on it as well. So you didn't enter this event. This is not one that you like? No, I did enter. You did? Okay, yeah. you did this. Yeah. You do the one, I hand, didn't or, do one the, hand or two hand technique? Uh, I think I'm two hands over the head. Okay. Yeah. But I don't... Uh... Now, this is a crowd favorite. People oh, there's John Crowley. Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> Definitely, this is a crowd favorite. Yeah, people yeah, like this. For sure. So he's got a nice... Nice uh, even penetration there, maybe a little bit off target. But, yeah, uh, yeah. And I heard stick, Dan eh? explaining this to someone else. He, I think he said, uh, where you release it, you've got to kind of point to where you want it For to sure. go, right? For sure, absolutely. Because otherwise it'll just, it'll go wherever. Yeah. So Trent's using the, the double-handed technique. Yeah, he had a nice throw there as well. Mm -hmm. So it must be a lot of pressure when your dad's a logger, right? I would think <laughs> so, yeah. got to get in there. And yeah, and when he's down, on down to boot. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh, a couple yeah. bounces, and yeah, that's there tough. it is. That's tough. Looks like they were going the right way. Oh, look at that. Right off the bat. That's a nice like throw. A five. Yeah, right I think there, that the might have been his warm-up throw. They get one warm-up throw and then three three throws for points. No, I think I uh, I think I only included the uh, just the points, the ones points in throw. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this fellow, his name is Mike. He works for the uh, Ministry of uh, of uh, Fires. Okay. The uh, wildfire. All right. Yeah. <laughs> And if you cross the line, a little penalty involved there? Is yeah, okay? probably, yeah, no points. Okay, here you go. So here I am, I got, okay. I got a few points on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm just sort of... Good penetration there. Just trying to get lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as you can see, my boots are securely fastened for the event to <laughs> yeah, right. ensure uh, proper footing. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like a lot of fun, this event. For sure, it is. All right, here's Dan, so the veteran. Dan himself. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Show you how it's done. That's right. Well, he's got to get his revenge. He didn't have his balance in the other No, events, he didn't. He's, he's no. got this one going on. No, I think that's the first year he's, you know, he's not completed a few of those events. So he's, the first year he hasn't done the pole climb. He just hates it. Oh, is that oh it? I don't want to do this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he's got a really good technique here, right? He does. Just a nice, Absolutely. smooth delivery, and yeah. it's just right in there. Yeah, and he's looking right at the target the whole yeah. time. He lets his hands yeah. open up as he throws the yeah, exactly. yeah. Good response from the crowd there. Here's okay, the, here's Reiner. Lured Reiner in from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think he, ended, bad, up, eh? he ended up doing pretty good here. Yeah, not bad at all. If I recall, him and Joss had to go for a uh, little little throw off for a, a, a tiebreaker. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Mm hmm. Yeah. So a little different technique. He takes a step into it, whereas most people are kind of planting their feet. Yeah. And throwing it. Eh? Yeah. It kind of does like give you a little extra leverage. Like bowling or something. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, you're oh, right. the throw off for yeah. the Austin Reiner. Okay, and so they only get one throw for yeah. practice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. And uh, Joss takes a lot of pride in this event. He, if there's one he's going to come out for, it's definitely the axe throw. Oh, right? Okay. Yeah. Brings his own axe. Yeah. He's got a practice log at home. There you go. It looks like I think they've got to throw again because they both got fours in this. I believe so, yep. yep. <laughs> nice. It's like a machine. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, pressure's on. Here goes Joss. One handed. One handed. Left handed. Left handed, I thought, yeah. Wow. 
I think Reiner was in the red that time, but I don't, oh, okay. I don't quite remember. Yeah. Well, checking it out. Oh, no. Get the judges out there. Yeah. Get the tape measure. So Dan finishes first. Reiner second. Joss third. And John McCurdy fourth. And you're and in the money. Myself, Brendan Taylor for there fifth. There you go. So you say... Paid my entry. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Not your big, big event, but nope. you finished in the money yep, anyway. Absolutely. All right. So now it's the ladies. Money, money throw. So I saw Jasmine with the axe, so I kind of headed off a couple hundred meters in the <laughs> yeah, opposite direction very, there. Very good strategy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow, she's got kind of a fluid style there. Yeah. Kind of lets it flick at the end, eh? But again, barefoot. I'm not sure that's, <laughs> that's the safest of techniques. Yeah. You think they could at least wear some flip-flops or something? Yeah. Like yeah right. well, I think she is wearing flip-flops. Steel-toed yeah. flip-flops? Yeah, steel-toed flip-flops. <laughs> All right. Pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. She done this before? Do you know? Yeah, last year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's a veteran then. Oh, seasoned. <laughs> seasoned pro. Yeah. All right. Good for her. Excellent. Okay. So I don't think we have Miwa's first throw, but this is her second throw. And not too bad. So this is, I mean, this is an event you really, if you're going to get good at it, you need to practice, right? For sure. <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. But you know, once, if you do put some time into it, you can really stay consistent with um, letting the axe go and done. keeping it in the target. Eh? Yep. So here, here's Amelia. Yeah. The cinnamons have been in the valley a long time. I guess they've probably uh, been doing this kind of thing before. Yep. Yeah, she's a, she's a, a cinnamon by marriage. But, uh, yeah, she's a good... Kind of country girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Technique here, the double hander. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So here's Karen, Karen McCurdy. McCurdy. This is a sister to Ross McCurdy. Yep. Yep. Karen's real strong. She'd be good at this event. Oh, absolutely. Or shot put or something like that. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, two throws, two sticks. She's still in the money. Yeah. What's that one? As long as it hits there, someone sticks. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. All right, so that's her three. Okay. And here's Heather. Right. I don't know her last name. Okay. A little short on there. <laughs> wow. Well, she's making it, it there. bounce off the tire. Yep, absolutely. It's amazing to me. Nobody seems intimidated by this, you know, really sharp double-headed axe nope. that they're throwing through the air. Uh, no. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, there she goes. She got her to stick. Good for her. All right. She actually up. had a fair amount of uh, female competitors yep. this year, which is good. This is Jesse Lawseth. And I um, don't want to get in trouble, but she looks pregnant to me. I believe so, yep. Yeah, and uh, she's throwing an axe. And she's throwing an axe. <laughs> yeah, looking for maybe a little bit of a okay. cesarean on the first place, maybe, you know? Wow. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. And so all the doctors at home who advise women to take it easy through their pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure axe throwing the doctors is probably, not, one, uh, it's yeah. probably not on the uh, list. Of axe throwing, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not doing very good. She get her to stick again? Oh, oh pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> For her. And I guess that's their own axe. So she's taking her at home. It's a souvenir. Oh, I guess so. Maybe she okay. had dropped. Maybe now she had This is really axe. interesting. This is a, a woman named Urmila. Urmila. And she's just out of the crowd. I she's believe with she belonged to those, the group of ladies yeah. right behind group us. The ladies here. that were here visiting Valmel. And look at that. Oh. And I think our mayor went over and talked to them, yeah. and uh, she said it looked like fun, and he said, why don't you try yeah. it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so next thing you know, she's got an axe in her hand. And she's a gamer, I'll I'm tell sure you. I'm sure this would really stick to, in someone's memories, eh? To yeah. Oh, absolutely. Up in this little town and... And I get to throw an axe. And then you're throwing right. axes in their, in their annual lottery events, eh? And not only that, I think she finishes in the money, too. <laughs> Just out of the crowd. Did she? Yeah. I she, think she finishes fifth, yeah. Yeah, right on. Hmm. 
Man, uh, I think that's she a stuck good, it. That's yeah. a good throw on yeah. that lady, yeah. Good for her. Well, that's fun, right? So anybody who happens to see this, because, you know, VCTV is now seen through through Canada on Bell. Right. They can go, hey, next time I'm in Belmont, I'm going to go to Logger Sports. Okay, so we got a throw off of the ladies, Jasmine and Karen McCurdy. Yep. And again, they just get one throw each. Oh, nice. look at that, the double. Upside down, but it's in there. Yep, and, it is. Uh, looks it's like awesome. a four, maybe even. Okay, and here comes Karen defending the uh, McCurdy clan honors. Yeah. Oh, oh and a, a little, swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Just outside. All right. And so, oh, we know. Oh, we have another throw off. Okay. Ramila against Mila. Ramila. Okay. When you, uh, did you ever, did you catch where she was from? No, I never no. did. No. Oh, good try. Oh, a little under. Oh, well. She did really well. She did. She was definitely a European descendant of some sort, mm -hmm. I think. There no it is. And no announces. Just stick it on it. There you go. Okay, so the results for the ladies. Amelia Cinnamon is first place. Jasmine comes in second. Jasmine Gasser second. Karen McCurdy. Miwa Hirway. And Ramila. Ramila. From wherever. From wherever. Good for her. I placed fifth in a logger sports competition. Yeah, maybe be she'll be here she for next year. Tell her kids it? and her grandchildren. Yeah. Okay, we're on to the axe chopping. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of a head-to-head -head event here. Yep. Is it also timed or is it just head-to-head? -head? Yeah, it's, it's, it's timed and head-to-head -head as well, yeah. Okay. So what we do is, what do we have, eight this year or ten? I can't remember. And uh, so we stagger them. So obviously you're not... Right, next to each number, other. Number four isn't chopping beside number five. Right, right. So it's John McCurdy and Reiner. Yeah, Reiner's chopping pretty high Way up high, there. Yeah. yeah. Is that a good strategy or...? Uh, it can be. It's all... Technique? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what is the technique? What's the best technique here for this? Well, you, have see... to, you have to open up your open up the face of your chopping. So you want to open up a big face and kind of chew into it as much as you can. Right. And then Just go to around give the yourself back. a big area to hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then go around the back and finish up with with maybe a little bit less wood. Okay. And there's uh, John right through and Miss Reiner, but so pretty good. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, this is a good crowd favorite. Lots of people there for watching it. Okay, Lyndon and Vince. And Vince has a pretty aggressive uh, <laughs> bounce with the axe off the log yeah. there. It's yeah. pretty calm and it looks a little scarier than maybe it is. But yeah, and you can see from this camera axes angle are, with the, uh, we've got a fixed camera position <coughs> behind there. You really have to put, put your body into it. Right? You do, You yeah. can't just use your arms in this, eh? Yeah, it's hard because the axe does like to, uh, it will stick into the wood. It's uh, very, very sharp. Yeah. So you have to... Whoa, there's his big ricochet there. Yeah. So now he's just finishing up on the back, oh. and there he goes. There you go. So, yeah, you, you kind of see there's just a sliver left in the middle there, right? Where yeah. you're kind of going around on both sides. And Very similar to the method that trees are fell. You make a front a cut in the front, and then you make a cut in the back. And then the weight will just kind of... The weight should, should take it over, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here you are against Mike. Mm-hmm. So traditionally, we we uh, we used an aspen or poplar tree to uh, in this event just because they tend to be very soft and easy to chop. Right. Uh, this year there was a, an abundance of dead pine around, or, or, or pine that was logged rather. It was green. Right. So we switched up our species of wood, and uh, we had some good success with it. So. Yeah, okay. Is it as uh, yeah, you can really see the technique here? Right. You're really coming down into it, and really yeah, I, you really got to make sure your axe doesn't doesn't stick into the wood, you want a good swing, come it back out, and right in with your next yeah. swing again. Eh? I know you've got an interesting technique where your, your hands kind of slide up. As you take it, you kind of yeah. slide back and slide back into it again, which seems to put a little more speed into the, uh, mm -hmm. into the movement. Whereas here, you can, you can kind of see where Mikey's kind of deliberate hit, pull back, hit, pull back, whereas yours is hit, slide. Yeah. In kind of, yeah, it's all you one just motion sort of kind pop of Pop it off as it hits, yeah. eh? Okay, and here's our uh, mayor again, Andrew McCracken. Yes, yeah. And versus, uh, who is it here? It's Ross It was McCurdy. Ross McCurdy. Okay. Yeah. And Ross, again, is going for that high technique, really high, kind of coming down on it. Mm -hmm. And Andrew's, Andrew's not sure what technique he's going yeah, for, but he's yeah. going for it. Yeah, he's kind of coming down on it, but across. But you can see that, um, yeah, 
so you can see that Ross is kind of putting his body into it and using his hips in it, whereas Andrew, if you watch, is more using just his upper body, mm -hmm. right? And that's yeah. that's going to tire you out pretty fast. Absolutely. Think, okay? And he's not really using the some of the leverage of the axe maybe to, uh, you know, let your hands slide down the head just like a golf club. And, right. And uh, put a little bit more swing into it. But so it's all arms, and so you'll you'll burn yourself oh, up pretty sure. fast, right? I'm not sure if he's overly. Oh, 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 oh Ross, that. you stop that. <laughs> You can't touch the log. No, you can't touch the log. And again, if, if you do get a chance to watch the professionals at this event, it's you, you, you probably couldn't even cut a log with a sh sharp chainsaw in half. As, as fast as they, as fast as they yeah. can cut it. It's really something else to watch, eh? Now, Andrew's a gamer here. He, he went on for quite a while with this. You can see he's really, really tired. Where's council? He's searching for his council members. He's not getting a lot of support. <laughs> Consider developing a committee. Yeah, a committee. To assess. <laughs> He was going to make it through good here. for him. You know, you didn't give up. You just kept going at it and going at it. Yeah. There you go. Finally. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Success. Yeah. It's a big hand for the crowd. No, he did good. All right. And there we have it. So you're uh, second. Vince wins that one. Vince. Yep. First place for Vince Clark. Okay. And Lyndon, John. Lyndon, third Lyndon. place. John, fourth place. And Reiner, 25th. Nice. Okay. And so this is an event where it has to be a male and female yep. doing this. Obviously, yep. Jack and Jill. And what's, and what's the technique here? What's the push and pull? Okay, but it's a lot more pulling than pushing. <laughs> um, once the uh, you have, really have to take your time in the beginning, All right? And you want to use the full length of the whole saw blade, right? Right from hilt to hilt there, right? right from handle right. to handle. Kind of thing. We sort of got off of that a little bit. Maybe that's just because I was standing a bit closer to the log. Oh, okay. Um, but you really have to work as a team in this event because the. If the blade, if, if you push too much when you should just be lightly guiding it with downward pressure. Right. Downward pressure is really key for, you gotta pull it and then just give downward pressure and let the other person pull. Because you'll, you'll bow the saw and oh, then it'll okay. come out of the curve. Oh right, so yeah, so you don't wanna do that. Uh, but it, this event is just awesome. Like it really brings out the people and. Ah, oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can see that. So you guys had a pretty good time with we this. We did have a good time. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The crowd on hand. People and even some of the older, you know, here's Dan and Sylvia, they're both, you know, they're not in their 20s. And, right, right. And they rock at this one. But it's technique, right? It's, it's technique. not about strength, nope. I guess, right? It's all technique. Working smarter, not harder. Yeah. Okay, and so you start with the blade already in there. Yeah, we start with a bit of a curve, of, you know, maybe two inches or so. And so what's that you're pouring in there? That's just some olive oil. Okay. Just for a little bit of lubrication. Okay. And then I stick a wedge in to open up the curve. So the saw blade doesn't experience any pinching. Right. Yeah, so this is a you know a pretty tiring event, I would imagine. For sure. Yeah. Can't imagine doing this all day. No god. <laughs> but you know the good old boys did it. They you know did, it's... Yeah. Must have had huge muscles on oh, them. Oh god. Okay, so good time for Dan and Sylvia. All right, Evan and yeah, uh, who's, this, who's his partner I here? I believe her name is Crystal Snow. Okay. They're taking their time yeah. and making some sawdust. Yeah, kind of a deliberate uh, motion here. Mm -hmm. But you can see they're using more of the blade here, right? They're kind of going Absolutely. full yeah. on here. And of course, as you get going, the, the more tired you get, but just... The, the more you get going, the better your rhythm gets, eh? And yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's a pretty cool feeling when you, you and your partner are actually... In sync? Yeah, in sync, and it. you know, you can really feel the saw moving down through the wood. All right, yeah. right. Sorry, yes, sir. So the species of wood we've selected is a, from a cottonwood tree. Okay. So it's a bit more accommodating for the, for the event. A little softer? A little softer, easier to cut, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'd say you don't want to kill people during this. No, a big, hard, <laughs> dry chunk of fur or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, here's John Crowley and Mila. Mm -hmm. so they got a bit of a, a bit of a seesaw technique going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a little bit different there. They're kind of going up and down with it. Right? Mm -hmm. Its effectiveness is, it's there. It's, yeah. It's, I'm not sure, yeah, exactly. So you basically are on the on the 
on the pull part, you're kind of guiding it towards you, right? You're not really pulling it, it's the other person's more pushing it, or are you really pulling it? No, hard? It's, you're, you gotta pull more than push, for sure. Because okay. if you push, then you end up bending the saw. Okay. So yeah, the up and down motion. But you're only getting, unless you're doing it evenly, you're only getting the top part of the log. Kind of, kind of the, yeah. the rounded part of the log. Which can be, well, it's almost like the chainsaw kind technique of like the chainsaw where you, you, know, you kind exactly. of come up. Yeah. Eventually, you got to come flat, right? Exactly, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough event, and unless unless you've had some practice before, it's, it's pretty hard just to step into it and and uh, you know productively run the cross cut saw. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, this is not something that uh, people normally do, right? I mean, are not these so things much. even in play anymore? Are people using uh, them? Probably no, not, right? No. <laughs> So it's a throwback to the old days. The yeah, old people days. are using them, but only for these sorts of things. Right, right. <laughs> I was watching a video on YouTube, and they had a sharp, nicely sharpened chainsaw and a guy on a crosscut. And the guy on the crosscut was beating the guy on the, on the chainsaw. Wow. Smaller piece of wood, yeah, not, not huge, but... Well, that's incredible. Ready? Joel and Amelia do really well here. You see how they're just, it looks like they, it just looks like they're, yeah, look, the how fast, work. look how fast that saw yeah, is. It looks like it's just working that, there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Amelia can barely hold on. He can <laughs> barely hold on, right? yeah. He's just throwing that thing. Yeah, right? he did really good there. So, in, in combination as well, when she's pulling, he's just putting the right amount of push on right. to, to aid her in the pull, but he's not going so much where it's, it's, uh, you know, kind of messing up their cut, eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ready? Set. Okay, so here's uh, John McCurdy and... Uh, and Jesse lost up. Jesse, okay. And they were in this event last year as well. And here they go. Okay, so I'm no uh, medical expert, but I'm not sure the uh, the crosscut sawing is good exercise for a pregnant woman or uh, not so good. I think, I think any, ex any exercise is probably all right. I right? think any exercise is good for a pregnant lady. Yeah, a little bit of stimulation to keep them, keep their minds off of uh, you know a pretty big event in their life. Apparently, she just had her baby. Oh, really? And it's a healthy baby. It's I uh, I can't remember boy or girl. I believe it's a girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm sure they're. And getting this very special moment together. Yeah. Okay, so they got very small amount of saw ha action happening there. Oh, yeah. A little better now. Yeah, they could they could most definitely be uh, be using a bit more of the saw, but you know, for some couples, it's uh, maybe the competitive edge is, is not so so dominant in their relationship as just to complete the event together without uh, yeah, it's just a, a domestic dispute. It's a fun thing. Yeah. It's a fun thing. Yeah, they're getting through it so. Yes, uh, they come out for logger sports every year, these two. So oh, nice. Here it comes. Here it comes. Keep going. Ready? Set. Go. Ryan is using some of his, uh, his uh, skiing technique, possibly, and endurance to <laughs> gnaw his way through that piece of wood. And Karen, being from a packing family, has probably done lots of sawing, lots yeah, of sawing. Yeah, absolutely, so. yeah. Karen being from a McCurdy family, she's, this is just probably a regular thing for her, so. <laughs> <laughs> I should ask her one day if she's done this before. I don't yeah, know. I mean, <laughs> but they're using the full length of the saw blade, yeah, they're yeah. making a nice long cut there, and it looks awesome. Good long stride there from Reiner, he's mm -hmm. got full extension. Yeah. Yeah, as I remember, everybody likes this event. The kids even like it. Oh, like for sure. Everybody likes to sort of crowd in. And, and Okay, uh, so it's Mike Duck and Ann McCurdy-Carson. Mm -hmm. And Ann's, uh, you can see, she's got a very nice form as well. Yeah. Her legs fairly well spread apart. And, and uh, they're really using the full extent of the saw blade. I take it it's not her first trip to the rodeo this here. This is not her first trip to the <laughs> rodeo, no. <laughs> she looks like she's got it down. Yeah, yeah she's, uh, this may even be their saw, I don't know. <laughs> oh, is that right? Wow, uh, Mike's Mike Duck is really his hands are almost hitting the really throwing it into it, yeah. 
That was a pretty good cut. Yeah, very. Yeah. Okay, so what we got here? here? This is Jakara Hirway. He's also, he's a half of McCurdy. So that's Jakara, and that lady's name is Heather. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a whole lot about her, but I do know she, uh, I believe she works at the health center in Valmont here. Yeah, okay. And she competed in, uh, I think, the Axe Throw. Right. And uh, right. Yeah. I believe we see her compete in the Iron Woman coming up here as well. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the number of competitors this year, is it about the same as last year, a little more, a little I less? I think it was up this year mm -hmm. in a lot of categories, yeah. Uh, we cut back on a few um, uh, on a few numbers, like the axe chop and the tree falling. Right. Uh, previously we've done 15 trees for the tree falling and the axe chop, I think, did we have 10 or 8? I think, we had eight. I think eight, yeah. So gen generally we did ten, but we had a bit of a hard time selling all of them. Okay. So uh, we shortened up a bit of the uh, a bit of the events, tried to make things go a little faster. But as the day goes on, and it's um, quite common, you just have more and more people enroll. So. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so this is an interesting entry. This is uh, Katie Fabris, who's uh, a government intern. She's working for the village. She's kind of splitting her time oh, okay. between the village of Elmont and the village of McBride. And uh, Thomas Rohner, who was the uh, intern for the GOAT this summer. Oh, okay. Okay, so they came out of the crowd to do this. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering who he was because I um, I saw him wandering around and taking yeah. photos and sort yeah. of getting in there with the photos. I thought, yeah, oh, this he's, guy's he's a reporter with the Rocky Mountain okay. GOAT. And so they just came out. They're both from Ontario out here. Uh, uh, While well, Thomas was just out here between uh, semesters, uh, uh, cool. going back to school in the fall, and Katie's, as I say, going to McBride. So yep. this is obviously their first time doing it. Right on. That's what I liked about this event. It was just, as I said before, you want to do it? Sure, come yeah. on in. Yeah, it doesn't matter your age or your physical ability for the most part, you know, it's just kind of... Well, it's not hardcore where you feel you know intimidated to even be around. You know? No, and injury levels are pretty low, I think, for the most part. Right. You know, in the in the four years I've been a little more involved in it, I haven't seen uh, any twisted ankles or scraped up knees too right. much. So that's kind of nice to know that you can come out and have a good time and go home in more or less one piece. Right? Okay, Ross Here's McCurdy. Ross McCurdy, and that would be his. I believe his auntie, uh, that's Jakara Hirway's mom, Catherine. Oh, okay. And she has been involved in this event several times. So mm -hmm. she's, on, this is actually uh, Karen's brother. And uh, I think between the two of them, they can probably put together a pretty good, pretty good cross cut yeah, uh, yeah. team. Eh? Oh, that's real cool. And she's got some good technique on her end. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, you can see they're using a bit of that rocking technique there. They're mm -hmm. kind of chewing away at a bit of the Ross and bottom half there and skinning up that curve. And, uh, and the finish might come fast for him with just a little sliver left, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. So here's the uh, results. First place, Mike Duck, Nan McCurdy Carson. Second, Amelia and Joel Cinnamon. Third, Reiner, Coney, and Karen McCurdy. And fourth, you and your lovely Jasmine. Jasmine, uh, Brendan and Jasmine, yeah. Dan and Sylvia. Dan and Sylvia. Pulling it up. Yep, that was a very great, we had a really good number of competitors uh, this year. Good. Well, thank you to everybody who came out and uh, enjoyed themselves with that one. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so eight trees, eight competitors, and what is the What's the hey, idea? Ready? Is it a speed? How fast you cut the tree down? Give me, give me the rundown. Uh, there's going to be, it's it's one scenario. So this first cutter is John McCur John McCurdy, and this uh, second fellow is Dan Wallace. He is a uh, school teacher. Okay. Uh, Dan comes out for one tree every year, <laughs> okay. and that's it. All right. So the idea with the with the uh, tree falling, I don't know if we'll get an angle to see it or not, but it's uh, closest to pin or hitting the pin, which we've gone to a paint can. Right. So when it does hit the paint can, you can see the pink lid as it just passed by there, and you'll see John McCurdy. He he will hit the can. So the overall objective of the tree falling is to show your accuracy and place the tree right on the paint on the paint can. 
Um, so it's not about how fast you cut it, it's about how accurate you land it. Well, no? um, if two competitors both hit the paint can, then we have to take the fastest time. Okay. So we don't encourage competitors to rush, but in the event that the, both the pin gets hit, then we have to take default of fastest time. So you do that. Yeah. Okay, so next up is uh, Dan Cutterback and uh, Nils Hartman. Mm -hmm. Again, so Nils, as we said earlier, just out for a, yeah. for a nice day. And yeah, he asked me to do the trees this way or that way, and I said he doesn't fall that way. So okay. he shook his head and, and uh, away he went. I think this is Dan's first time following a tree. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, wow. I think it's his first time. I, uh, I had to give him a few pointers there. Okay, so you can see the paint can there on the, uh, on, yep. the on the right. So what happens is once the, the tree hits the can, once the tree lands on the ground, there's a spotter right behind Dan somewhere, and you can see I'm right by Nils there. He needs a little bit of help. It's he's not overly experienced. So once the tree penetrates the ground, then we run out. We have a measuring tape, and we give a measurement to the timekeepers. Right. And from there we decide uh, closest to the can, or if of course you hit it, then you. Right. And there goes Dan's. Oh, oh, oh he's pretty, pretty darn, close. pretty darn okay. close there. Yeah. And Nils again, first time doing it. Uh, I just, he's he's gutsy. I'll tell you, yeah, lucky he is. competitor here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think he's played around a little bit here and there, maybe on a farm or something. But uh, okay. So were you able to give him any coaching, or is that not allowed? No, I give I give him some coaching because sometimes some of the competitors in this event. You know, it's a bit of a higher risk uh, right. uh, event, and if they, they maybe don't know, and he's got pretty close there too. Yep. So, uh, you know, if they cut the tree right off before it's fell over, then it can just sort of whoop, do right. its. And so you can see yourself, you're out there running yep. out to. So there I'm out, I got the measuring tape in my hand, and I'm gonna. And, it uh, up. Yep. Okay, so here you are on the right. And let's this is see. A legendary, is I believe, Wally Plummer. Okay. Yep, he's a. Uh, He's been a tree faller in the area for a long time. Him and his uh, family have been on a logging operation. And oh, wow. Well. So for those of us who don't know anything about falling trees, what's the technique here? Man, you zip through that thing, I'll tell you. <laughs> Two cuts in the front, one cut in the back. Wow. <laughs> no, there's a lot of different technique. Um, it's uh, uh, species of wood you're using, type of undercut you use, and okay. opening of the undercut, and aiming the tree. Aiming it is the biggest thing. And it, it's just like a door hinge of a, it, the, 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 the wood that you leave across the, the undercut is acts exactly like a hinge. It opens and closes. Right. So, uh, so I mean, for me, who wouldn't know anything about this, you, you wouldn't cut like straight across, right? You cut kind of up at a bit of an angle from the front. Yeah. So that it, the gravity does its work too, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And in the front, you have to make a cut that's going to be open like a pie. Okay. And then in the back, you make a cut. So once the tree starts to go, it doesn't just, there's two phases that have to close before that tree is oh, okay. hitting the ground. Right, right. And here's young Lyndon Latasur. Lyndon Shower. I believe Lyndon hits the pin. First time lock today. <laughs> so there goes Evan. I think the can gets. Oh, he hits the can. Perfect. Good job. Interesting that it hit the can and split the tree in three. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't think a can <laughs> would Tough be can, that, eh? yeah, <laughs> that strong. Okay, and there's Dan picking up the pieces. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Okay, so Mike Duck on the right here. Oh, that's Vince Clark. It's Vince. Okay. Yeah. And so that wedge he's sticking in there that will actually mechanically lift up the little piece of plastic and lift up a thousand, couple thousand pound tree. It's quite an amazing thing. Hmm. You know, even a tree that's leaning way, way back, you start your cut and you stick the wedge in and cut right, a little more and keep lifting more. it up and Push lifting it, it up. And yeah, it's just a fulcrum for it, I guess. Yeah, it's quite, an, it's quite a neat thing. 
But I noticed some people didn't use it. Some did, right? Yeah. Some just, uh, like Lyndon, just pushed his over, right? But yeah. Didn't, didn't do it at all. Okay, here we go. So have you ever had any, uh, during this event, trees go the wrong way? Um, there has been trees gone the wrong way. I don't know if, in, if in the time that I have been involved, we have had trees go the wrong way. We most definitely have trees. The can is out here and the tree goes this way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the event, the results. Lyndon Latticer, first place. Mm -hmm. John McCurdy, second. So those fellows both hit the can and right. Lyndon was the better of the time. Mike Duck, third place. Dan Cutterback, fourth place. And myself, Brendan Taylor, fifth place. It's like you're in the money in all these events. Yeah, so I'm in somewhere in all of them, eh? Just hanging on by a thread. Okay, the Iron Man. Iron Man. So we had a, quite a number of competitors for the Iron Man this year. Ready? Yeah, set, I can go. attest to that. I had to run around with a camera chasing after <laughs> yeah. every single one of them. So an interesting event. So you'll see it, but obviously you start with picking up the tire. Yep. The very large uh, truck tire. Uh, skitter tire. Skitter tire. Or, okay. or, or loader. Yeah. Right. Right. But, yeah. And then you've got to make your way around. Couldn't quite see it there, but around the, the other tires and the paint cans and everything else. And very important because Dan's quite a stickler for making sure you're right inside the painted rings there. And then next you lift the chains out, two sets of chains. Yep. And again, if your tire goes out, you have to put it back in before you go. And those chains are not really all that light. Yeah. Evan's a pretty big dude, so he can manhandle these a little bit yeah. <laughs> without a whole lot of troubles. And then you pick up the uh, paint two, cans, water two, cans, Two whatever. buckets of uh, water and mm -hmm. place them over. And then it's and the, the toughest of the Iron Man events, threading the needle. Threading the needle. <laughs> yeah, we've got probably Sylvia's finest little needle and pretty flimsy little thread. You have to, you have to uh, get down there and get that needle threaded. Yeah. And Evan's got her. Nicely done. Good job. So not as easy as it looks. I watched everybody do this. Not as easy as it looks. You, you get, it's not just getting the needle, uh, getting the thread in the needle. It's your arms are tired. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're, and you're sweaty you're and shaking, everything else. You're right? panting very hard. Yeah, yeah. That tire can be pretty difficult to uh, to handle there. Once it gets out of control, it just, it'll push a guy around pretty good. Right, right. right. What does it weigh, do you know? Jeez, uh, I don't know what it would be. It might, it might be pushing a couple hundred pounds, eh? Wow. So here's Joel Cinnamon. All right. Oops. Tires are moved. Tires are moved. He can place them back again. He drags them across the ground. Yeah, and you got to make sure every piece of chain is inside. Yep. Every piece of chain has to stay inside within the painted ring. Yep. Bring the water water buckets back over to the de designated area, and away we go. If I recall here, Joel had a bit of his glasses, but not all that clean, I don't think. All right. Had a bit of a hard time seeing that. Getting it in there, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I have a hard time getting a needle and a, th a thread and a needle at the best of times. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of this. But later, the uh, ladies will show us how it's done. They just zip through this. Oh, thing. yeah, they come running in. I think they just kind of do it on the, on the, on the fly, eh? A couple of the men are pretty good, though. Yep. Get some real good times in there. Of course, nobody's barking any sort of, no. you know, inappropriate comments at you at this point. Everyone's very <laughs> calm and accommodating. So. Uh, he's getting a little frustrated. Oh, yeah. And the longer it goes on, the more frustrated a guy tends to get, yeah. I suppose. Eh? And that's the thing with this event. I mean, you've got so many different parts to it. You can do really great in parts, yeah. some parts of it, and then get caught up here, or yeah, totally. you know, do not so great in there, and then make it up here, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it was interesting to do it to uh, to cover it because you see some people just yeah. zip through yeah. it Time. and then you know die here yeah. at the end. <laughs> yeah. And others have real problems with that. But. Ready, set, go. So okay, here's Mr. Latticer. Okay, not a big guy. This tire probably weighs nearly as much as he probably does. Probably weighs more than he does. <laughs> Good technique. Keep it moving. It's, it it's got to be about the momentum, right? You yeah. gotta, you slow it down and you're putting it 
all the weight on you, right? Yeah, so. and you can't let the tire work you. You know, you got to keep it moving at a good pace. And right. The hardest part is if you don't, see, he's trying to fight that tire there. Right. I, I shouldn't disclose any of my your, your trade secrets. But uh, you got to bring it in and just so it just, bloop, and then it just falls right, right in place. So it's quite tricky to do. Yeah. Thrashing around the chains. So again, each of those chains are pretty heavy. Probably what, like 40, 45 pounds maybe? Yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe even a little bit heavier. They're really long, eh? They're, sure right. they're you can't just pick them up because they'll, right. they, 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 and you pick them right up over your head there. They're still on the ground, right? So we'll see how, if Lyndon paid attention in home economics, and I think he did. That's the benefit of having 18 year old eyes. You can just yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Set, go. All right, here you go. Okay, Let's see this are. technique. Pretty good. Nice clean lift there. That tire moving. Yeah, so you got kind of an interesting technique. Your arm's kind of wrapping around the top part of the tire, whereas a lot of people do it on the inside of the tire and run into problems there. Mm -hmm. So you use your left hand as a kind of a guide. And you see a lot of people, they, uh, they stay on the inside of the tire where I'm actually on the outside right. of the tire. I don't yeah. know. Can't particularly tell you why. I almost almost landed on my face here. I stepped <laughs> on the tire chain and I was oh. as I was trying to yard them across. Well you got good uh you pulled those chains out and they came flying out of there for yourself. Well the but first year I did that I I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just grab those chains. Then you realize I, I <laughs> real heavier than you thought. Hey, so Dan, he makes me go back. Oh here. Dan, you're uh -oh. a stickler. Well, what happened? Oh your tires. Well, my tires went an inch out and he made me go back. Oh, there you but, go. That's the rules. Even though high school was 10 years ago, I still remember how to uh, thread the needle, eh? Right? Okay, here you go. Very nicely done. Are you left-handed? I'm left-handed. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Me and the whole family pretty near our, except for our kids, eh? Okay, so here's Big John McCurdy. Big John, yeah. Good speed going here. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Quite an angle on that tire, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing for inertia, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that may be the fastest tire spin that I saw. That was pretty, there. pretty darn good, eh? Yeah. Nope, didn't oh. quite get it in, though. Okay. There you go. Can't just fly that chain right out of there. Okay. Doing pretty well. You're doing, doing so pretty far. good. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Dragging him over, thinking about this new baby on the way here. Got to make some money to put some food on the table, <laughs> eh? Okay. Can you get that needle is the big one. A lot of guys have a hard time even seeing it on that piece of wood. Yeah. But just to let people know, there are a pair of glasses. There, there are a pair of glasses. For the I don't <laughs> think any of the Iron Men used any of the glasses. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Even though it probably would have knocked a couple seconds off at least a couple of their time. Probably, yeah. Yeah, John did really well there. Mm -hmm. so I think we had. I think we had 12 competitors in this event this year. Oh, wow. I think last year we had like four or something like that. Holy so. cow. Oh, here's Ross. He's got his safety footwear on. <laughs> He's got barefoot going. Yeah. Okay. He's got some protection on his hands, which is important, but he's got his safety feet on it. Yeah. That tire lands on your foot, you'll know about it. <laughs> okay, oops, wrong direction. Yeah, a couple people did that. They weren't paying attention as to where the chains yeah. were the last time. They went yeah. to the wrong side. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to drop the chains on your toes. No, you? you wouldn't want to do that either. One of those buckets of water wouldn't feel very good as well. Good. Yeah, this is a great event. Everybody's super friendly and supportive. And yeah. Dan is just right there for people. And you mean this particular? Well, the whole event, the whole but, thing, but yeah. this particular event as well is, yeah. you know, it's got a good, you know, nice competitive feel, but everybody's shouting encouragement. Yeah, and, you know, for sure. Nobody's hardcore about it. No, but it's a personal achievement. You know, you go out there and you're not out there to just uh, you do it, Ross. say that you've done it. You want to do yeah. the best you can. Right, right. right. But that's all good. Bad yeah. there, Ross. You're done. Go. Okay. So this is, I believe, Jakara Hearway. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, 
of a relative to Ross McCurdy, actually. All right. And this would actually be Miwa's brother. Okay. Younger brother. All right, right. Oop. So he's getting that tire rolled around there, not too bad. We got her back in the... Okay. Back in the circle. Yeah, I would think the, the thing you need to do there is kind of get a good, clean pull with those chains, right? Yeah, just... The, if you can get them out in one movement instead of two, you're, right. you know, obviously you're 50% more efficient uh, getting them out of the tire, right? Okay, so he's got a bit of chain hanging out there. Oh, one chain here, one chain. Okay. He got away with that. There was a little piece of chain hanging out oh, of yeah. those tires there. You know, Dan should send him back, but he's must have loosened up a little bit by this point, okay? And away he goes. Lose the gloves and... Doesn't matter. So this event always been kind of the same, you know, the, the tire, the chains, yeah. the same thing? The only thing that probably changes in this event is the distance that maybe the tires are, are, are spread apart or, okay, the, uh, right. you know, the length of Come the on. loop that we were on. That's right, really. right. But yeah, it's always been the big tire, um, on, the chains, on. the water, mm -hmm. and thread the needle. Good job. Ready, set, go. Okay. So this is David Carson, okay. who is also another member of the McCurdy family. <laughs> I found out if you live in Valemount, you're probably eventually either a McCurdy or going to be a McCurdy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Don't say anything bad about anybody until you know damn well. Right? <laughs> Not the best time. So I believe this is maybe David's first time uh, partaking in some of the logger sports. I suspect there's some young guys, if they took it a little more seriously, we'd have a little heater, stronger competition. Uh, maybe so, eh? I don't let them know that, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want stronger comp. No, I don't need that. <laughs> it's an interesting event. I mean, you think of Iron Man, you think, you know, big, strong guys doing this, and it's it's everything from, you know, tiny little guys, and you know, obviously the women later, yeah. to you know, really big guys like Evan and people like For that, For sure. Right? Yeah, it's, and, it's, and it's, it's about technique too. It's not just about strength. Absolutely. And every body size has a different advantage or disadvantage in every different event. Hey? Like maybe Evan doesn't want to be running out trying to hook the chokers, mm -hmm. but when it comes to rolling that tire around, well, there you go. get the hell out of my way. Yeah, so. exactly. And he's working on her. Yeah. Good. There it is. Yeah. Messes with everybody's head. We all figure that's going to be easy to get that in there. And <laughs> not a chance. Okay, who's so this? Do we know? This fellow is, his name is Jeff. I don't know his last name. Okay. He is a helicopter pilot for Yellowhead Helicopters. Oh, okay. And he, I would sort of call him a local. He comes and goes with his job, but he lives in town here. I think he actually lives with uh, Joe Nisi at the Go. Okay. In his little uh, suite. Good. All right. So he almost had a good, good throw of those chains out. Almost throws them over to the next tire, which is not so bad. That's pretty well. For somebody that usually probably flies loggers. Yeah, it doesn't want to. Does, yeah. does the logger, right? <laughs> And the way he goes. Oh, you can do it. On, Jeff. You can do it. Eye of the tiger. So that was a fair amount of running for you that day as well. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty happy to see well, the end of that. By the eh? time we got to the women, I was I was bagged. No kidding. <laughs> and there were quite a few women too, as I remember. At least, yeah. at least three or four. Ready, yep. set, go. So here's Mr. Mike. Okay. Yeah, I think in this particular one, follow them a little closer. I wanted to kind of get a sense of what the technique was for for some of these a little closer. Okay. So you can see that there are kind of two schools of this. Some people do. Oh, oh that's not. He's dropped the tire way far. <laughs> oh, okay. Some people uh, do the inside uh, of the tire. Some on the top, and like yourself, more kind of on the outside of the tire. Yeah. Really? 
Just oh. the chains out of there. <laughs> just basically threw them out. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's a good technique. Lift it up high and let them fly, you know, drop. You have to pick them up in the middle and there yeah. you go, eh? Good. If he can get that needle in a good time, he'll be sitting fairly pretty. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to show us his technique. No, no, he's getting yeah. this there. There he is. Pretty good time. Stupid tire. Yeah, right. You made up pretty good time on the chain, so. Okay, ready? Set, go! Okay. So here's Mr. Crowley. All right. Okay, I'm in a little trouble with that tire. A little wide there. We're going Watch out, the kids. So. Yeah. Watch the kids. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get it moving, eh? That's the that's the yeah, because otherwise the yeah. the weight of it just pulls it down on you. Oh, yeah. man, Even if it goes into the crowd and hits the kids, you just gotta keep it moving here. <laughs> Uh, but to just to fast. have to stop like that and start it again is a yeah. killer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially so early in, but Yeah, you don't want to be picking that tire up too many times, eh? Once is pretty near enough. Oh. Oh, man. The wind, eh? Still a ways to go. Okay, go bring it this way. Okay, and then, Probably yeah, there's the other thing. Side. You don't want to try to push it in place. No, it, <laughs> it's pretty tough. Those yeah. big lugs on that thing. Or... Dig right in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, he's tired already. <laughs> he is tired already. <laughs> I'm tired just watching him. <laughs> All right, here he goes. Yeah. Make it, he can make it up, though. I mean, he oh, gets yeah. good time on the needle and the rest of it. Uh oh. He may have expended all his energy on the tire. He could have, yeah. 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 But you got to get it complete, so. Good. How much do those cans weigh? The buckets, well, yeah. what is a... a five gallon? A gallon is a five pound. I would say they're probably, uh, they got to be 20 pounds, I would say. 20 liters. I think a liter is a pound, isn't it? Not sure. I'm not so sure either. But they're not that light, that's for sure. And yeah, there's a nice pair of scissors to freshen up the needle. Boom. Time! Good job. And there he is. Got it. Nice right, job, John. That wind was a little hard on the tire. Oh, I was trying to cut it too. Ready, set, okay. go! So over here is Kyle. I don't know his last name either. Oh, okay. I think he's another yellowhead helicopter. Uh, possibly uh, in the mechanic uh, department of Yellowhead. Right. This is his first go at the uh, Valmont Logger days. Okay, not bad, not bad. Nice and slow and steady. He's going to get her in the ring. Mm -hmm. This way. Good. Oh, don't go too, don't pull it back. Now, any of the other <laughs> communities, uh, hey, hey, like no. McBride or any of the other go communities on. have these kind of events? Yeah, the, uh, McBride does what's called the Pioneer Day. Okay. And they do a similar thing. They've got a few different events. All right. But they do, uh, they do some chainsaw bucking and they do some cross cut. I believe they have a tug of war, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That would be. And they do, I think they do an axe throw and maybe an axe chop. I don't think they do a pole climb or a tree falling. Um, I don't want to be biased, but maybe our event has a few more. Uh, well, where's the cross in our town rivalry here? We should get them out. Yeah, there. I was really thinking it would be fun to do a, a Robson Valley logger event. Oh, so right, right. Do it out in the, in the school, old high, uh, high school field. There you go. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But we have had some competitors from McBride show up before. Yeah, that kind of stuff would be fun, I think. For sure. Get into it. Absolutely. And there he is. Ready, set, go. All right, here's Nils again. So, oh, yeah, here's Nils. Probably never seen a tire that big in his life. <laughs> he's still going to push it around the parking lot as best, best he can, right? So. And he, he did. Did he do every event? I don't think he did the axe throw, but I think he did pretty much everything else. He did else. pretty near everything else, yeah. yeah. Don't think he did the chainsaw bucking. Oh, no, that's right, but he did the... Oh, look at this. He just grabs it and just yards <laughs> it over there, wow. right? Back, back, back. But, you know, he kept it from falling down. Okay. Kept true. it moving. Yeah. yeah. And, 
They probably didn't. Uh, okay, interesting and thing now here. Now he's start going towards the dump truck. He watched ten people go, <laughs> and uh, here uh, he goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, maybe just needed to get more speed up. That yeah, way. maybe that was it. Yeah, I need a little better <laughs> run up that other tire, right? Mm. But, you know, think of the stories. You can tell people, hey, I went into the logger sports. I oh, did the God. Iron Man. I did, you know. I think he's still probably living the high off of this day, you know, <laughs> even four months later. I know he talked to me during, uh, I think, the... Uh, the pole climbing there, he said, ah, I didn't want to see the video. <laughs> I've never done this. So. <laughs> so, okay, well, that's cool. Do you have his contact? I don't know. You don't know. No, no, no. I'm sure he can be fine on sure. Facebook. Yeah. Time. Whoa! Good job. There, there he is. Great Good job, Mills. Eh? Get ready, set, go. Okay. Here's Jimmy Lurch. Jimmy Lurch. Jimmy's a local from Valmount. Mm -hmm. One of the many Lurch. One of the many Lurch. Family, yeah. Okay, uh, he's got a kind of an interesting technique with the tire. Sort of in front of it, pulling it. That's, that's a new front, one. It's a front wheel drive, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I haven't seen that one. Oh no! Is he a loser? Oh no. He does the chain. Holy like cow. A, just like a rabbit, eh? Oh, <laughs> threw those chains out of there in a hurry. Good. Okay, out of the cans. He's fast. Make up for the time from the tire, maybe. Yep, and if he's a lurch, he probably can thread that needle just like that, eh? <laughs> yeah, see how he does. Come on. You can see the dirt on his hands from the, the chains, probably, probably the chains yeah. and the tire. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Bang. Good job, Thanks, man. Ready, set, go. All Here's right. behind her, Tony. Okay. This is his first time partaking in any events uh, in the Belmont Logger Sports as well. Well, Reiner's a pretty competitive guy. He puts everything he has into every. He puts event. everything yeah. into everything. I think, yeah. Oh no! Uh oh, tire down. Tire down. There he is, <laughs> back in the game. A little more this way. Good, good, good. good. good thing there's no Alpine events, or so you'd all be in trouble. <laughs> He'd be dragging that tire up, <laughs> yeah. up the Alpine slope, see. He'll probably do that in the winter to practice. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah, he does pretty well in most of these events, as I recall. Yeah, he did. He did well in the axe throw. And then the axe chop as well. Mm -hmm. And then there he goes. Going to be an alpine uh, ski touring guy, mountaineer. You got to have steady nerves. Yeah. He just climbed Mount Robson. He did, yeah. and then he skied off skied of it. Skied off of it. <laughs> yeah, most of it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hats off to Reiner for that uh, another great accomplishment there. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here are the results. First place for you. Myself. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. And Mike Duck in second. Jeff Cohen. Ross McCurdy and Lyndon. Lyndon did pretty well in a lot of these events. He too. did. Yeah. He did really well. So now it's the Iron Lady. Iron Lady. So a little bit different in terms of what they do. So what are the differences uh, Ready, for this event? Set, go. Well, uh, actually, ultimately the the event is you know fundamentally it's sort of it's the same. As you can see, the tires a lot smaller. Right. And uh, the. Instead of carrying two chains, they do one chain, right. and they carry one uh, bucket. Okay. So here's Jasmine zinging yeah. that semi tire around. Come on, come on, come on. Again with her uh, safety footwear on. Safety footwear, yeah. Mm -hmm. She used this technique for dragging the chain. This is derived from uh, dragging kids around the grocery store <laughs> by the scruff of their neck and. Uh, there you go. And whatnots over the years, dragging them away from the candy aisle. Definite advantage. Here goes the uh, wash bucket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. And the way she is. Yeah. 
Threw that one in there. <laughs> we'll just stand in the middle. Not to, not to sound sexist here, but you would think the ladies have an advantage of this. You would think so, and you would hope so, and I think they did there. Very good. Good, Jasmine. All right. Well, here's where you are. Ready, yep. set, go. Okay, good technique. Hands on both sides of the tire so it doesn't go all wobbly on Yeah, it. good. Got a good speed going, keeping it moving. And She's got her safety flip-flops on. Yeah, yeah. certified and all. Mm -hmm. Lululemon headband on for a little fashion statement <laughs> and everyone's happy. There you go. <laughs> All right, oh, slight detour. It's going for the wrong set of chains. Go over to the chain. Yep. Oh, a little outside the mark. The lady's doing pretty well on the chains. Mm hmm. The two hand technique on the bucket. And I have heard some of the ladies say they should just let us take two buckets over because it, it's almost right. easier than trying, yeah, to, I guess trying it, to lug one of one, them over. Yeah. But. A shaky there. Grab it. Bang. She's got her. Got it. Good. Good job. Some of these ladies can almost start competing with some of the men on these yeah, events. I think eh? so. Uh, you got one. Ready? Ready? All set, right. go. Amelia Cinnamon. Amelia. I'm sure she'll give it her all. She looks a little far ahead of that tire there. A little bit. She's kind of tripping over it a yeah. bit. I think she just ran over her toe with the tire, actually. She probably, yeah. she probably, probably also have certified uh, safety boots on, eh? Yeah. Get inside the circle again. Land? Good. Good. Not too much difficulty with that tire chain. No. Right up and out of there. Yeah, Not too much difficulty with that bucket either. <laughs> I'm thinking she could do two two buckets easy. I'm thinking she probably could do two buckets and two chains as well. Good speed. Rock out of the way. <laughs> I can't even grab it. She so she must yeah. Good wow. job. I don't think she slowed down. It was just no. Right I don't away. think she was even puffing when she Go. finished the other. Eh? Okay, here's Karen McCurdy. Not too much difficulty with that tire as well. Flipping along at a pretty good pace there. Yeah, good technique. Fast and straight. <coughs> Oops. Wrong side for the chains. Nope. A little bit of a delay, but you picked them right Look up. Look at that. Just straight up. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I was up at Berg Lake with Karen McCurdy. She's she's a strong girl. Yep, she sure she's is a strong, strong girl. girl. Yeah. I think she probably could have carried me up. <laughs> <laughs> you and your bag. Yeah, eh? probably. Yeah. Probably. No, good. No. Can she so? Let's see. Oh yeah. There she is. <laughs> nice job, Karen. No problem. Good job, And here's Heather. Yeah. Here's Heather. Go. Let's see her go. Getting a bit of a feel for that tire there to keep it moving. And We've got a low uh, low angle on it. Mm -hmm. Kind of corralling it there. <laughs> Maybe slowing herself down a bit with that technique. I think with this tire, it's probably the, the yeah, one technique would be on the top like that, eh? just to get it going. Yeah, the, the bloody thing would probably want to take off on you if yeah, you like, too many pushes, yeah. right? Yeah. Mind you, those those truck tires are a little heavier than they, than they do up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good, good. good. Okay. So over to the chain. Okay. Hung up there. Kick it back in. Oh, a two-handed technique. Right, yeah, behind the two-handed behind the back. Yeah. I guess you never know until you try. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good. Over to the pail of water. Good. 
Right, this is one of those things you just, I mean, you can't practice for this. Right? No, you yeah, can. You, you run around your yard. That's it, right? Run around so, in your yard with a couple yeah, buckets of water. <laughs> now, I did see a little logger obstacle course set up in Dan's yard. He was out oh, practicing. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That was fast. Good. Yeah, that was really fast on the uh, thread. Okay, and here's the results. Karen McCurdy, first place. Lovely Jasmine Gasser, second place. Amelia, Muon, Heather. Nice job, done. ladies. Yeah, very good. Log burling. Last and final event. <laughs> we'll try to keep it really still. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, so here we have uh, John McCurdy and Nils. Yeah, and Nils, Nils <laughs> probably took it in an area that was undesired. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Nils has the record for the most times in the water in this event. Probably, yeah. I think he's got the record for the most logs coming around his groin area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a record you definitely don't want. It's pretty tough here. You can see both guys don't want to let go of that hole. Yeah. And, 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 and I think. I think uh, Ross beat uh, Trent there, but mm -hmm. but that water's pretty warm. Yeah, you know it's probably uh, you know maybe a couple of degrees above Celsius. Right. Fire department comes out, fills up the hole. Fire department comes out, fills up the hole. Mm -hmm. Should have had the mayor in there. Hey, okay, go, Dan, Dan Reiner. and Reiner. Yeah. I think Reiner may have been on the log a little longer than Dan was there. Possible. This is another event Dan had a. He fell backwards and hit his back one year. I thought we were all gonna have to jump in the hole and drag him out of there <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by the look on his face. Eh? Okay, so there's a rematch here. So that means obviously that the first one, there was no clear winner, no clear winner. Everyone decided who maybe, was off the log first. Maybe eh? somebody uh, didn't let go of the pole in time, they had to redo it or whatever. Yeah, everyone's yelling, you know, let go, let go, let go, and nobody wants to let go of the pole. So. Right. Okay, John McCurdy John and Trent. John McCurdy and Trent cut it back. And they let go, and woo. Yeah, I think John looked at Trent, and Trent fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of different techniques here. I think there's a couple of people who went barefoot, Nils and somebody else. I think Reiner's got a pair of cork boots on. Okay. So he's got spikes on his feet. And Ross has a pair of cork boots on as well. Now, if Nils went really European, he'd probably take his pants off as well, but... <laughs> Okay, look at them balancing on that log. Not bad. Not too bad. I, I don't too know bad. if they have to go again. Or... Yeah, this is good. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I think uh, Nils turned out to be a fan favorite this day. Oh, absolutely. And you know, there's always one of a Nils in, who comes out and like, thank God he's here because then him, <laughs> he lets everybody just relax a yeah, little bit yeah, and yeah. have a good laugh. Have a good, time, good time. Yeah. yeah. John and Dan. So Dan's got the safety vest on. John's got his <laughs> safety chest on there. <laughs> Man, that's got to be tough. In and out of that water, mm -hmm. up and down. The grit. And, yeah. So here goes Reiner, Tony, and Trent cut it back. Ooh. Reiner's going to beat himself before he even starts. And he's going backwards, Trent's going forwards. I'm, I'm sure there are good techniques for this, but I don't know what they would be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, everybody who goes to the, in this event is a winner, as far as I'm concerned. Eh? Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, has Reiner done this before? Nope, no? he has not. No. Yeah. But once again, he just sort of gets on and does it. And yeah. Well, athletic yeah. guy, figured it out pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, okay. For sure. Watches a few people and picks yeah. up pointers really fast, eh? Because I think he might be the only one that's actually going that way. Yeah, he seems to like to get on the log facing the mm -hmm. facing the person, eh? Holding yeah. onto the pole. A lot of rematches between the two of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they got this one off or not. So this one goes through a whole chart. Everybody has to go against everybody. Okay. And then... Uh, and then it ends up sort of elimination, and then people have to go again and right. kind of keep working your way through that, eh? Whoa. Okay, I think we're going to go again. Yep. 
I think Reiner was enjoying holding on to the bar and sort of burling at the same time there for a little bit. Eh? Yeah, I think Trent fell off that into that mud six or seven times. Here comes Dan. He's, he's got an interesting technique. He likes to push out into the middle more. Yeah, well, he wants to get right out there and make it make it real, eh? Yeah. Well, I guess then if you fall backwards, you don't fall in the mud. Well, that's mud how he hurt himself. Too. He fell backwards and hit back on the uh, mud there. Okay. Yeah. He wants everyone to get on the log and get pushed right out and then start burning. Right. It's really, really tricky. It is. Okay. Oh, right. Right. Hold on. He's yeah. <laughs> Okay, going again. Okay, so this time they're both facing that way. So this is Ross and Reiner. Yep. And I think Reiner is going to have that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got to kind of figure it out. That's what I've seen from the, uh, the pros that do this. They, they go forward a little bit and then they try to take the log backwards yeah. a little bit. And yeah, they get, they get moving together. Yeah. Yeah, and then they try to... is floating out <laughs> floating out to sea. <laughs> okay, let me go again. I don't think anybody has an idea of how difficult this is. Oh, it's so hard. It's got to be. Just looking hard. at it, you're like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't want him. <laughs> Does, does the log get slippery as well? Well, it's, it's, slick, a, it's not too bad because it does stay out of the water, it's, so it doesn't have a chance to uh, kind of build up a lot of slime. Right. But it is slippery, absolutely. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Thank you. Spectator in the front, yeah, wants to get in. Where's John? The cannonball. <laughs> I don't think he's having very, very much fun there, John. <laughs> By the look on his face. Yeah, I'm thinking barefoot is probably not the way to go here. I probably don't think not. Get enough traction. Yeah. With your feet. Okay, here's Reiner and Nils. So if the crowd's wondering why this is such a random uh, placement of competitors each round, it's it's just the way that the uh, the whole spreadsheet chart works out. The, right. A system that we've come up with over the years of everybody competing with everybody, and then winners going off against winners and the losers right. rolling off against the losers. Yeah, so, okay. And it can get a little bit confusing, but... Okay, here's a father and son matchup. Here's a father and son matchup, yeah. yeah. And by Lord Trent knock him in the water. <laughs> oh, oh, I he think does, he does dude. there. Yeah, I think he did. Just got him. He probably got grounded for that, but I think it was <laughs> worth it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> knock his dad off a log into yeah. the water. Yeah. But everybody's good sports. His you can kind of see they're hand. all sort of hobbling a little bit too, you know? No, he does. He shakes yeah. his hand. Yeah. Okay, Reiner and John. This must be getting up to the, close to the end here. These guys were some of the better ones in this. Yeah, they pushed way off into the middle, there. Right? I think Reiner's got this figured out. He's got a Pretty good, near, I think, good yeah. technique on it. You've got to have really fast feet, eh? Yeah. You watch the guys who are pro, they're just, their feet are just <laughs> giving her. Wow. Oh, Trent and Mills. More people in the water. Yep. That's what we want to see. Okay, so here's Nils and Ross McCurdy. Oh, oh. 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 You could have, yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, and here's uh, Ross and Trent oh, in a rematch. And another rematch. And another rematch. <laughs> yeah, they go, they go on quite a ways here. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so the results, uh, here we have it for the log burning. Looks like Reiner Tony comes out on top. Yep. First time doing it? First time doing it, picked it up really fast. Is that beginner's luck or is that, uh, you know, the skill of, uh, of Reiner? And I think it's probably a combination. Probably both. Yep. And then two and three are the McCurdy's, John and Ross. John and Ross McCurdy. Mm -hmm. Trent Cutterback, fourth Trent place. Cutterback, young guy in there. And our European friend, Nils Hartman. Nils Hartman. Place number fifth. And so best overall logger, yourself. He is myself. Yay. Yay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So yeah, you know, uh, you come in the money in every every event and win a couple of them. And yep. There you Managed go. to Push avoid the log burling. Didn't want to get wet. <laughs> <clears throat> Have to hang my clothes out to dry. Uh, good for you. Yeah. And second, John McCurdy. John McCurdy is very close behind me. He was mm -hmm. just a couple points off. Yeah. So okay. yeah, good nice work, John. Watch out for next year. For sure. And third place, Lyndon Latasser. Lyndon Latasser, another yeah. very good finish by him. And, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And fourth, Ross. Ross McCurdy. And then fifth, Dan. Dan Cutterback. Okay. Well, yep. You know, if you organize the event, you got to place in the money. That's the way it works. For it? sure. <laughs> and despite Dan's uh, difficulty in balance, he still got a strong finish. Well, that's right. Yeah. He pulled it off. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's it's some events you're better at, other events you're, you know, not so For good sure. at. And, and it's the day too, right? Maybe this, today you just don't have your balance and tomorrow you have your perfect accuracy for Absolutely. Block, you know, and for throwing the axe. You know, Dan puts in a lot of time to make this event happen, so you know, puts in a lot more energy than uh, people really see. And, right, right. Yeah. So a lot of people yeah. to thank for this event, I would yeah. imagine. Eh? Yeah, having said that, uh, I've got a list of people here I'd like to thank for making this happen. Uh, Dan and Sylvia Cutterback and Trent Cutterback is a big thanks to them for- uh, Huge amount of work. Huge amount of work and uh, lots of organization, not right. only this year, but in previous years. And yeah, they've got it dialed that we just go there, set everything up and it just seems like it happens. So. Yeah, well, that's great. Great yeah. credit to them. I know they work really hard on it. Absolutely. So thanks again, Dan and Sylvia, for that. Uh, I've got to thank our timekeepers, uh, Bill Crystalbrink. Thank you very much for your mm -hmm. very diligent timekeeping. Evan Scheller, Jasmine Gasser, and for any other timekeepers that I missed, thank you guys very much for helping out. Much appreciated. And thank you to my dad, Don Taylor, for doing the announcing and the PA system. And thank you to the Lions Club for supplying the PA system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad was there on every event, and it's kind of hard to hear him in some of these uh, things because the speaker's a little far away. Yeah, a little windy. Pumping and up stuff the like crowd, that. and uh, yeah, he enjoyed it. it. And thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Alpine Country Rentals did some donations, helped us with the uh, log burling pit. They dug the pit. Oh wow! So thank you guys for that. They also are in conjunction with uh, Still Power Sports okay. to uh, donate a few things and help us get through the event with some money. Great. And thank you, Mark Muick, who has uh, worked at Alpine Country Rentals for usage of a couple power saws for the event. Excellent. Community Forest and all sponsors, thank you guys very, very much for your cash donations to make this event happen and provide our contestants with cash prizes. Oh, that's excellent. Without yeah. you guys, this event wouldn't happen. Great. Uh, Village of Almount, thank you guys for letting us use the property and for helping clean up some of the uh, wood waste at the end of the day. Very much appreciated. BC Hydro, big thanks to you guys. Scott Corsi, Art Main Prize, and Michael Roy Ames for coming out. They help us set the poles up for the tree falling. Oh, okay. And they also donate the uh, the power pole for the uh, pole climb. All right, oh wow, so that's thank, great. Thank you guys very much yeah. for coming out after work and, and uh, doing that stuff. Uh, big thanks to Walter Magrum. He sharpens a crosscut saw every year and does a god darn good job of it. So, <laughs> thanks, Walter, yeah, very much. Yeah, everybody would thank him that uh, that saw was really sharp. Yeah, for sure. And thank you to I believe it's the McCurdys for the donation of the crosscut saw. Okay. And thank you for the loader usage for setup and cleanup. And I believe the loader this year was from Tinsley's. Okay. Um, if I'm incorrect and it was from Vern Nicholson, well then thank you, Vern. If I'm incorrect and it was the Tinsley's, thank you, Tinsley's. <laughs> Got your bases covered. And again, thanks again, Gord. And thanks again, VCTV, for coming out and filming us running and jumping and sawing and leaping. It was a lot of fun. It's my, you know, I'm a city boy, so it's my first uh, logger sports, but I uh, also awesome. enjoy doing that every year. No, we really appreciate being able to do this and showing the community who mm -hmm. didn't make it out uh, what they missed. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, everybody should get out and see this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you would be surprised at how, how into it you get, you know, just 
the competitive spirit takes over in everybody and it's a really fun event. It's not one of those serious uh, events where everybody's like dead serious. It's just yeah. a lot of fun. And yeah. if you're interested in doing it, if people want to do this next year, what do they what do they need to do? You got to show up, good pair of boots, good attitude and just bring a couple bucks for entrance fees and away we go. Excellent. So my last thank you is to all competitors and all the spectators because without you guys, it probably wouldn't happen. Great. Uh, fire department, did you mention the fire department? And the fire department, fire department for yeah. filling up the water tank. Thank you guys for doing that. Excellent. And if there's anybody I missed on there, um, thank you guys. Uh, no intention on leaving you out, just slipped my mind. Well, thanks very much, Brandon. Thanks, Gordon. Great having you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, we'll be out there next year and maybe I'll do some practice axe throwing just to get in, you know, get into the rhythm. Sure. Maybe I'll participate next year a little bit instead of just shooting, I'll I'll shoot and then I'll do an event sure. and I'll shoot and I'll do an event. Maybe you can do some stuff with a camera on your shoulder. There you go. We'll, <laughs> we'll have a, a camera obstacle race. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. See you next year.